Jo Leute, herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Part Raincoat. Ja, wir haben mit Vivia zusammen, der uns äh, erst umbringen wollte, nun zusammen noch ein bisschen weiter ermittelt und das haben wir jetzt abgeschlossen. Und ja, ich wollte mal sagen, die Ermittlungen können wir nun beenden und ich denke mal, wir gehen damit wieder zurück zu den anderen und werden wieder ein normal, äh, normaler Mensch. Und nicht mehr eine wandelnde Seele oder so. Wir werden sehen. I think I've checked everything I could. You knew it. You didn't get any clues for the case. We have learned a lot here. What? But what do we learn? That's all I can do to help. After all, I'm more interested in the story than the truth. I think we should return to our bodies soon. There's not much time left. Oh, then I'll go back too. Go. Well, I managed to get a lot more information thanks to Vivia's help. Whatever, just tell us what you found. We don't have time. Sure. Uh... So nothing you found leads us directly to the culprit. We could get a glimpse of Dr. Weska's computer. What could we learn from that? The security logs. They should be saved on the doctor's computer. If we could check the logs, we could clearly see the security system status. With that, we may be able to figure out when and how the culprit entered the lab. Can't you check the logs with that computer instead? I can see that the log file exists, but you must log on to the doctor's computer to see what's inside. You were, you were in the doctor's lab! Why didn't you check his computer? You cannot touch anything while using spectral projection. So obviously, we couldn't mess with the computer either. Well, why didn't you possess a peacekeeper in the room and make him order the others to do it? Don't be unrealistic, please. The ghost form isn't all-powerful like that. It cannot take over someone else's body, nor can it be heard. In fact, you weren't able to hear the conversation between Yuma and me when we were using spectral projection. Master... I think you should carefully remember that spectral projection trait. Huh? Why do you say that? No reason. I just have a feeling. <sighs> Since it can't be done with spectral projection, someone has to go back there and look at the doctor's computer, right? That's basically jumping right into enemy territory! This is bad. His heartbeat. Are you serious? Is the chief gonna be all right? Don't just stand there. Right. Chief, please stay with us. It was only a matter of time to begin with, but it looks like that time has come. Oh. oh. What should I do? At this rate, it'll be over for everyone. Chief Yako, Halara, Fubuki, Tsuhiko, and even Vivia. I refuse to let it end without saving anyone. To be honest, even if you want to go to the Mystery Labyrinth, you don't have enough clues. So you're saying we can't do anything until we check the doctor's computer? Hey, 
master. You've always been relying on others until now. Isn't it time for you to do this yourself? You may be a trainee, but you're still a detective. Try to save everyone on your own. On my own? Nah, I guess you're not the type. Just teasing ya. Yuma, what's wrong? I'm heading back to check the doctor's computer. We have to find the final clue. Wow. Wait, are you heading in there as yourself? Do you know what you're doing, Yuma? It's all over if you go out there and get caught. Thanks to our investigation while in ghost form, I have an idea where the peacekeepers are located. Now is our only chance before Yomi comes back with more peacekeepers. All right, I'll leave the investigation to you, Yuma. Hey, are you sure about this? Our hands are full just trying to treat the chief. We have no choice but to leave it to Yuma. The doctor's computer should have the security log and other important data hidden inside. Right, I'll see to it. I shall join you. That way, if you get caught, I can use my forte. No, Fubuki. Please save your power for when everyone is in danger. I'll be fine. Reversing time takes a lot of energy, right? It should be saved as a last resort. All right. I'll stay here as well. Why? You should go! There is nothing for me to do. Besides, even if we found the truth, it would not improve the situation here. So you're just gonna give up? You gotta be kidding! Fine, I won't waste time asking you anything anymore. Just go to sleep or whatever! Yuma, you're our only hope. Show him you're no longer just a rookie. Right, I'm heading off now. Master, you're acting pretty cool. I am a detective after all. Well, a trainee one. <laughs> Seems like my training is working. Oh, and Master? Regarding the clumsy girl's timer winding power, you should probably keep that in mind too. Huh? Why? It probably has nothing to do with the case. Just a feeling. You know, just in case. You sure? All right, let's move carefully so the peacekeepers don't spot us. Was meint sie damit die ganze Zeit? Dass wir uns die Fähigkeiten äh, merken sollen. Ja, ja ich hab's gesehen. to get here without being seen, but there should be more peacekeepers up ahead. I better keep moving and stay out of sight. Wait, what if some toxic gas is still lingering around? Nah, just kidding. <laughs> Wir wollen ja ohne bemerkt zu werden hier reinkommen, wenn da noch welche sind. Still some peacekeepers, but once I'm at the computer, I'll be in their blind spot. How are you going to get past them? 
I just need to reach the computer without being seen. This mission is impossible. Master, you gotta make sure you don't get clumsy. There's no time. We need to hurry up and check the... All that's left is to check the computer. Who's there? Oh no! Jeez! I told you not to get clumsy! You're that terrorist detective. How did you get here? I'll catch you and report to Director Yomi! Master, you'll have to take a chance in the mystery labyrinth! Wait, I didn't check the computer yet! I have to do that before going to the mystery labyrinth! Then what are you gonna do? What do I do? <laughs> Just come quietly. Resistance is futile. <sighs> What's the map? Vivia! Sheesh. What a pain. I want to die someday. Vivia, you came to help me? I always like to keep this syringe in my pocket. He walks around with a syringe? He's like a walking cop magnet! I know I should leave you alone, but curiosity got the best of me. You are like death itself. You said that before, but I'm not the death detective. No matter. I will be a witness to the end. Once you obtain the truth, I'll see if you choose to scream or fall silent. I don't get what you mean, but you really saved me. And now I can check the doctor's computer. Hmm. Vivia really helped us out there. Let's wrap up this investigation now. It's not locked. Oh, thank goodness. No one could enter this room, so he didn't need to set a password. Time to check it out. Let's see... Security log, reference folder 1, folder 2, folder 3... Well, what are you looking at? And what did you find out? Well, basically, when the security system is turned on or off, it automatically records the date and time in the log. So if someone cut the security and entered this room without permission... It would be recorded in the log. Uh-huh. I don't really get it. I'm not into modern machines and stuff. Huh? What's going on here? What's wrong? The only instance of the security being switched off was an hour ago. It hasn't been turned back on since, so... That means this must have been when I used Amapal to disable the security. Right, so what? Well, the last time security was cut was 90 days ago. 90 days?! Which means that security was up for at least 90 days before I disarmed it. There wasn't a single moment that security was cut during that time. This old man was cooped up in here for 90 days? He's a bona fide shut-in! That's not the problem here. There's no record of anyone coming in and out of this room. There should be a log of the hitman entering before we did. Since there isn't, the doctor couldn't have been murdered here. It's the perfect, impossible crime. From the looks of it, it appears we have strayed further from the truth. Hmm. The files are formatted to prevent editing. There doesn't appear to be signs that the log was rewritten. We've checked the data, but it's just made the crime even more impossible. 
And thus, the mystery deepens. It's terrible. It's not over yet. There could be more secret data. Halara even mentioned it. His emails haven't been deleted. He's been communicating a lot with the same person. One message is fairly recent, too. Von Dr. Blub scheint an der Zeit Schluss zu machen. Wir haben schon genug Profit daraus geschlagen. Es ist zu gefährlich, weitere Forschungsergebnisse und vertrauliche Informationen beizugeben. Hiermit ziehe ich mit komplett zurück. Mit diesem Geld werde ich meine neue Forschung finanzieren. Stimmen die Gerüchte? Du hast vor, den Keinarbeitsdruck zu verlassen? Doktor, sag nicht, dass du planst, die Forschung zu nehmen, davon zu laufen. Ich hoffe, du weißt das bereits, aber du kannst irgend nirgendwo hingehen. Was los, Doktor? Ignorierst du mich? Ich werde keinen Verrat zulassen. Ich habe es dir schon einmal gesagt. Aber du kannst nirgendwo hinlaufen. Pass bloß auf. This is... Quite a suspicious exchange. I'm sure Doctor refers to Dr. Huesca. But who is the anonymous person? The address is just random characters jumbled together. It'd be hard to figure out who the person is just from this. The doctor spoke to a mysterious person about leaking research and confidential information. Speaking of which, Makoto mentioned something similar. Well, this is just a rumor. But someone in Amaterasu Corporation is working behind the scenes with Dr. Weska. I don't know what they're plotting, but if this rumor is true, they must be dealt with eventually. So his suspicions were right. Searching through the backlog of the emails, this appears to have been going on for over five years. But it seems like their relationship soured about six months ago. I guess the doctor wanted to cut ties. So the doctor plotted to leave Kanai Ward and this anonymous tried to stop him. It's more like he directly threatened him, if you ask me. Could Anonymous be the one who hired the hitman? The doctor betrayed him, so he sought to kill the doctor. Makes sense. The doctor didn't shut himself in here just for research. He did it to protect himself. He felt Anonymous posed a threat, so he barricaded himself in a lab with impenetrable security. That also makes sense. But he sure didn't act like someone living with a death threat, right? Either he was that confident in his security, or it was just a facade. Regardless, this Anonymous is very suspicious. If only we could find out who this is. Even if that person hired the hitman, we still don't know how he got inside. True, that is the biggest puzzle here. How did the culprit get through such perfect security and murder the doctor? If we don't figure that out, the case can't be solved and our innocence can't be proven. Huh? What are you doing here? You again? What are you, anyway? Were you born just to get in my way? Or was this all fated from the very beginning? No. Fate is just an excuse for defeatists. Alright, fine. You're not just some shit in my path. You're an obstacle in the way of my ideals, a piece of trash. Trash must be dealt with properly before you rot and start to stink! <gasps> What's your name? Yuma Coco Head. I see. I'll make a path through Kanai Ward's sewers with your name on it. Of course, it'll be named after your bones once they're dumped there. Hey! Capture these criminals! I'll execute them on the spot! 
Shinigami, can you do it? Of course, Master! <laughs> We're finally acting like partners! And of course, it's all thanks to my patient training! To the Mystery Labyrinth! Ja, Speichern tun wir. Wir machen noch ein kleines bisschen, denke ich mal, weiter. Nebenbei, meine Vermutung, Yomi. Weiß noch warum, aber irgendwie könnte ich mir sogar vorstellen, dass er zumindest derjenige ist, der den Mörder ähm, ja, angewiesen hat dazu. Möglich ist es. And with the falling, why can't it ever be a gentle landing? Oh, Vivia. Um, this is called the Mystery Labyrinth. So, this place is a physical manifestation of mysteries from the case? You can tell? Well, anyway, this actually isn't my forte. It's... Due to the power of death. Her. Right. Huh? So you really could see me this whole time? He could? It's due to my spiritual affinity. Ever since I was young, I've been able to see otherworldly things. My forte was gained through training that innate talent. Though... I wasn't able to see her clearly like this before. I could tell you were talking to some haze following you around, but that was it. Until one day, I used my spectral projection at the agency, and saw that death got clear as crystal. After that, I did some research. I discovered that the WDO Underground Book Vault held something called the Book of Death. And also, that someone had taken it. Did I take it? Before I lost my memories? I don't know. Since you're a rookie, I doubt you'd have access to the Book Vault. Only a handful of people have WDO clearance for that. Just a handful? Anyway, you've been using this ability to solve the other cases up till now, haven't you? I yeah So, this is also related to the mysterious deaths of all those culprits?
My guess is, clearing a labyrinth, a materialization of a mystery, causes its true perpetrator to die. If that's the case, you've killed a lot of people with your own hands, Yuma. Well, I didn't really kill anyone. It's just what happens when... Nope. I may be the one reaping their souls, but the blood is still on your hands. Wh hey! No point in pretending to be a goody two-shoes. You're risking your life to solve these mysteries. I see. So you're determined to do this, huh? Sorry, but... I don't think I have that kind of conviction myself. So... I think I'll take a nap here while you go and risk your life. You can sleep if you want, but you won't be able to get out. Hmm... Is that so? If you're not with Master when and if he solves the labyrinth, this place will collapse around you. Well, if you don't have any regrets in the real world, you're free to die here. Hmm... Regrets... I don't have any of those. But there are still some things I've left unfinished. Especially after you exposed the mystery of this case. What do you mean by that? I'll be perfectly clear. I'm just going to tag along. I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. I don't care what you do, just don't get in our way. Well, Master, let's do the usual. Yeah, okay. Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? I am. Is that sword for cutting through mysteries? This place must be pretty dangerous. Here you go, Master. Here's your solution key. Is that key something like a clue for the case? Wow. Looks like you're ready to go. You be more of a downer? Whatever. I'm gonna ignore you. So let's go and unravel this mystery labyrinth. Let's hunt down this culprit who preys on the truth. <sighs> we have to walk. This is unbearable. We're gonna ignore him. Say, Vivia, do you remember anything about the case? You mean Dr. Huesca's murder? Or are you talking about when Chief Yako was attacked? Huh? You remember? Everyone else that came here lost their memories. That's pretty rare. It must be because of his whole spiritual thing. Hmm. So the others lost their memories. That's why no one remembers this death god. How rude of them! It's thanks to yours truly that those cases got solved. 
That reminds me, I used my coalescence with Fubuki before Vivia. But Vivia is the only one who came into the mystery labyrinth. Hmm. I guess coalescence got overwritten. Maybe it only takes the most recent ability. I don't know either. You don't know? But coalescence is your power, Shinigami. Relax, will ya? Minor detail. You would have been better off with Fubuki. She would have been far more useful for this case. It doesn't matter anyway. No one can use their forte here. Oh. So now I really don't have to do anything. Thank goodness. What a relief. Jeez! You ever think your lack of motivation could be contagious? Hey, relax. Also kann, wusste Vivi wirklich die ganze Zeit über Shinigami Bescheid. Wie vermutet, okay. Gut, das war's aber erstmal mit Raincoat für heute. Mir ist warm genug gerade bei fast 30 Grad hier im Zimmer. Das war's. Äh, ja. Wenn euch das Video gefallen haben sollte, lasst doch gerne wieder Feedback da. Positiv oder negativ bleibt euch überlassen. Gerne mit einer Klemmbekundung, was, was euch gefallen hat und was nicht. Und ja, wir freuen uns, wenn ihr nächstes Mal wieder dabei sein werdet. Und wir dann mit dem geheimen Labyrinth beginnen. Bis dahin. Ciao, ciao, Leute.